This is something, a, a, a topic that we were switching, of course, between the Trump town hall, mainly watching yeah. the Trump town hall, and then the Biden town hall. And the moderators just skimmed over. And this is about as radical far left as you can possibly get. It's not in line with what most Americans believe. It's certainly not in line with what the science tells us. But Joe Biden flat out just said, and I don't know exactly what he means by that he's going to change the law in regards to not allowing uh, eight-year-olds to transition and get hormone blockers? Let's go to the clip. I'm the proud mom of two girls, eight and 10. My youngest daughter is transgender. How will you, as president, reverse this dangerous and discriminatory agenda and ensure that the lives and rights of LGBTQ people are protected under US law? The idea that an eight-year-old child or a 10-year-old child decides, you know, I decided I want to be transgender. That's what I think I'd like to be. It may make my life a lot easier. There should be zero discrimination. And what's happening is too many transgender women of color are being murdered. They're being murdered. Huh? Uh. Okay. <laughs> I have heard a lot of stupid answers. Sure, sure, right, right. He was stuttering, Stephen. Be careful. But seldom (laughs) am I at a complete loss for words, sir. And I'm going to try and find them and hopefully not stutter. Hopefully I'll I'll find my words and not a new stutter that never existed before. Um, A couple of things. Why aren't people complaining that that's offensive? Or said uh, someone chooses to be transgender. What? I thought sexual preference was supposed to be a term that is offensive, which it became after Amy Coney Barrett used it because Miriam Webster changed the definition after Senator Arono asked her about it. But he's literally saying someone chooses chooses to be transgender. I thought it's an immutable characteristic. You were yeah. actually a woman born in the wrong body. That's how you, the entire basis of modern transgenderism, and it is an ism. People who say don't follow yeah. ideologies, if you subscribe to modern transgenderism, that is a secularist ideology. Sorry, and it flies in the face of biology, then you would have to believe the premise, right? It's entirely predicated on there is a male brain and a female brain or a male soul and a female soul, I guess, getting into metaphysics that can be put into the wrong body. That's why they say you are being misgendered. They say, no, I'm having the surgery to match my actual gender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Joe Biden was just behind because the dictionary definition changed the day before. Right. Uh, Uh, He didn't get updated. Oh, that poor guy. (laughs) Man, and just can't catch a break. I, I mean, you're right. We haven't seen one word about the idea that there can be a choice as an eight. I mean, setting aside yeah, the whole, you know, what can eight-year-olds know or choose, right? Yeah. But the idea that he is saying that eight-year-olds should be able to choose or have the ability to choose flies in the face of everything that has been told about the transgender movement. Well, not only that, but also responsible parenting. I mean, listen, an eight-year-old kid is cho- And this is what's so crazy to me. We've talked about this before because Vox and Salon and all these far-left websites who people used to say, well, I'm a classical liberal, but I'm not far-left this is your candidate, yeah. the candidate yeah. who said, I'm just going to change the law. First off, he's not really clear on what that means, change the law, but it certainly opens the door to Child Protective Services taking your kids away if the yeah. president says that it's abuse of your children to not allow them to be pumped full of hormone blockers wow. as an eight-year-old. And by the way, this is what they sold on the town hall that we went to in Vermont, which if mm-hmm. people are watching on YouTube, you have to go to ladoathcredit.com slash club because YouTube banned it as a violation <laughs> of their guidelines where these people were coaching folks on how to transition their children, yeah. which yeah. drugs yeah. to use, and how to get it funded by the government. Um, they actually present this argument. Well, actually, it's far less harmful if you're, you're, if you're eight-year-old or your seven-year-old thinks they're transgender. You just put them on puberty blockers, and uh, then if they think that they're not, then they're no worse off. No, 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 no. They're far worse off, I would <laughs> yeah. say. Very, very worse off. Again, if you, what happened to science? What's the Hippocratic Oath? First, do no harm. Uh, estrogen being injected into the ass cheek of an eight-year-old who has no concept or ability to have sexual experiences, let alone actually consent to them, and you are pumping them full of hormones that will permanently affect their sex life, and you think that that's the science? No, the science is first do no harm, so let's take them to counseling. Let's see if this is actually an issue where it's biology, or if it's one of the issues, like I have statistics, 
statistics here, 75 to 90 percent of children who think they have gender dysphoria completely grow out of it. Completely grow out of it. But wow. for those who undergo puberty blockers, that number drops to zero. And keep in mind, they're mm. still 19 times more likely to attempt suicide if they actually go into transition. It doesn't get any better just because you pump them full of hormones, which, yeah. by the way, the sci we don't know the science. The science isn't in. The science tells us don't do medically invasive procedures on children if you don't know. The science okay. tells us that this isn't a biological medical issue, that it's a psychological issue, but that's politically incorrect. The science tells us that it causes irreparable damage to the endocrine system, and we know that that is well tied to the neurological system. That's why you also see an attempted suicide rate. It's not just because someone was mad at them when they took a dump at a target. <laughs> Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10.15 Eastern.